What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Stadium 2 walkthrough. Okay, so, it was a successful two episodes. I am uh, very, very happy that you guys liked them, and well, here we are continuing our adventure right here in Pokemon Stadium 2 in the Gym Leader Castle, and uh, yeah, if you guys remember, first two gyms, Faulkner, Bugsy, beat them, owned them. And now, let's go ahead and uh, take on our third contestant right here, and that is Golden Ron City's gym, Whitney. And if you guys don't remember, Whitney, she's a little difficult uh, when it comes to, you know, her Miltank and all that stuff, because they're all normal type Pokemon, and plus, Miltank likes to uh, use that rollout attack and all that crud. So, what I did off screen was I traded a few Pokemon, leveled them up, all that fun stuff. And now we got a new group of Pokemon that we're going to be using right here in the, uh in the third gym. Remember guys, I'm using every Kanto and Johto Pokemon that I've used in every single walkthrough that I've played in, excluding uh, Pokemon uh, Liquid Crystal, because that one right there was just like a whole bunch of other Pokemon right there. So well, let's go right in and meet the new Pokemon. So as you guys already remembered, we got Sir Razor. Yes sir, we got Sir Razor. And uh, well, I actually got a few items out of my PC that we can actually use for these Pokemon. And luckily for us, we had a Miracle Seed here. And then, well, if you guys remember, we got Hercules. Look at this guy, Hercules. Now, let's go ahead and give him a, a nice attack or a nice move right here. Let's see. Let's give him a nice, uh... Let's see, let's see. Let's give him something nice right here. So, we got the Focus Band. This will actually work better for him if he does get uh, knocked out. And then we got Fluff Volt. Now, many of you guys are asking, where did you get, uh, where did you get Ampharos? If it's not capable, or you're not capable of getting it in Pokemon Crystal. Well, here we are. Pokemon Crystal. Traded it from Pokemon Silver, the game that I'm currently going to be showcasing later on. Non-narrated and all that stuff. And, well, let's go ahead and give him uh, something right here. Now, I don't have... Uh, I don't think we have, like, a... Whatchamacallit? Uh, uh, a magnet. So, what we're going to do is we're actually going to give this guy... Actually, you know what? Let's go right ahead and give him something else, okay? So let's go back right here, uh, let's go right ahead and give him the leftovers. This guy right here, let's see, what do you have? It has the leftovers, so let's go ahead and switch that out. Since it is a little slower than usual, let's go right ahead and give it a quick law. As, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, this is tank number two. Now, let's go ahead and use other Pokemon that we have not used, and that I leveled up. Now, one of those Pokemon it happens to be... Our good old buddy, Hydra number two. Yes, I've been wanting to use this guy for quite some time. And you know what? Let's go ahead and give him that Mystic Water. And, well, there is another Pokemon I want to use. Someone that, you know, could prove useful for us. And that is Sweet Boom right here. As you can see, Sweet Boom is a uh, pretty good Pokemon right here. And, well, let's see. What kind of a... What kind of thing that I would give him? Let's go ahead and give him the Never Melt Ice. So, I know that we, we, we we're kind of using multiple typings right here, but I kind of want to use all six of these Pokemon right here. So, here we go. Going up against Goldenrod City's trainers, and, well, we got our first one. Would you like to see my Pokemon cuties? Well, let's go right ahead and see. And, yeah, she does have nothing but cutie Pokemon right there. So, let's go right ahead and... Oh, crud. She's really putting me in a conundrum right here. So, let's go with Hercules, Fluff Volt and finish him off with Hydra number two right here. Okay, so let's go right ahead. Third gym battle. And, well, let's get it. Let's go. Bring it on. Hercules making its debut right here in Pokemon Stadium 2. And, you know, I'm actually starting to, I'm starting to see the differences in between uh, both, you know, one and two, and that is that, wow, the 3D is a little, it got a little bit better around the Nintendo, or the Nintendo, whatchamacallit, uh, 64's lifetime. So, let's go right ahead and use a Mega Horn. Hopefully, no, we're not fast, so, <laughs> yeah, we're playing with a team filled with nothing but slow pokes right here, and right now we're getting hit with a Surf Attack, so, no worries. Look at this, Hercules, looking all fantastic. Here it comes a Mega Horn, and it missed. Good gravy, okay. So we're gonna have to switch out right here. Now, like I said, we are with a team filled with slow pokes. That's a my bad, but that is a challenge for me nonetheless because, well, I've been sweeping teams, sweeping gyms in the last few episodes, especially in Pokemon, uh, or Pokemon Stadium. So yeah, and good gravy, here comes a Blizzard attack, and that would have, yeah, that would have definitely defeated uh, 
my Pokemon right there. But luckily for us, we got leftovers. And, well, we are still slow. Let's go with a Thunder Attack. And here comes a Body Slam Attack right here. And that leaves us paralyzed. Good gravy. We are not off to a good start right here. And here comes Thunder. And it misses. Good God. Okay, so, yeah, we are not faring well right now. And... Well, let's go right ahead and use another Thunder Attack. And here comes a Psychic Attack from this uh, Poly Swag, or Poliwag, I should say. So, let's go right ahead and use a Thunder again. Please, let's make this. And there it is. Super effective. And it takes out the uh, Poly World right here, or Poliwag, I should say. And so that right there... That right there gives us uh, some, uh, somewhat of an advantage right now. So, let's see what the next one is going to be. And this one is a Teddy uh, a Teddy Ursa right here. So, Teddy Ursa is looking all mean and stuff. Not really. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and use... We're going to have to use the hell out of Thunder because in this game right here, Fluffle is, a, is more of a special attacker than anything. So... Hopefully this will actually win us something, and we are getting licked. Too bad we're already paralyzed right here. So here we go, Thunder Attack. And this one will actually do it. And Teddy Ursa, of course, losing a huge chunk out of his HP right here. So, uh, crap. Okay, so let's go for the for sure thing, Thunder, uh, thunder Punch. And here comes a Cut Attack from Teddy Ursa. And a Cut Attack hits us pretty hard right there. Luckily for us, we got Thunder Punch, and Thunder Punch does the trick. Okay, Teddy Ursa is done, and her cute Pokemon are about to get beat. Okay, alrighty. And, well, let's go right ahead, and let's see who is next. And, of course, it's a Snubble. Right now, not a, not a Fairy-type Pokemon. Luckily for us, that, that's the case right there. So, here we go. Let's try and get another Thunder Attack right here. And here comes a takedown attack. Will that do anything to us? And that makes our Pokemon faint. Okay, so that takes out Fluffolt. Of course, the recoil hits Snubble. And, well, I guess Fluffolt did his job, I guess. I don't even know. So let's go ahead and go back to Hercules right here. Now, many of you guys are like, well, finally, an episode with, with him not using Ultra Psycho all the time. I get it, guys. I get it. I use him all too many times. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a counter attack. We're just going to let this guy just hit us. And uh, I wonder if an ice punch. I wonder if ice punch is a physical attack. And that right there hits us. And here comes a counter attack. Okay, so counter counter attack is not. Okay, ice punch is a special attack right here. And here we go with the reversal. And here we go, Reversal does it, and Snubble is nearly fainted right here, so here comes another Ice Punch attack, oh gravy, oh gravy, and that doesn't do much to us, good, 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 okay, so let's see, let's try it for the first sure thing, Reversal again, we're just gonna keep on getting hit right here, so here we go, Reversal attack, for the win, and there goes Snubble, I am happy, yeah buddy, Okay, alrighty. And look at that. End game. All that stuff. And that enables us to go to the next round right here. Of course, Lois is not so happy. What does she have to say? You didn't have to be so mean! Well, I'm sorry, baby, but I gotta be mean in order to go through this whole gym right here. So, let's go right ahead and take on the next trainer. And that will be a beauty. Let's see what beauty has to say right here. So, let's see. Oh, aren't you cute? Hey, Battle! Certainly! Let's go! Okay, so she does have a nice variety of Pokemon right here. And, uh, well... This is the... Okay, so I think I already know what I'm going to do right here. Let's go with this guy. Let's go with this guy. And hold on just a sec, guys. Okay, my bad. Obviously, people like to uh, call me and all that stuff, so we're going to have to go back to... Actually, hold on, hold on. Reselect again, because I completely forgot what I just picked. Okay, so we're going to be taking on uh, Rita right here, and, well, let's see. I think I have a strategy that I kind of want to use right here, and hopefully it will work. Hopefully, probably. 
Um, it looks like to me I'm gonna be using this guy right here. So this is a uh, this is a bit of combo or combination kind of battling right here. So we're gonna be starting off with Sweet Boom right here. Now, yes, I've never used this Pokemon. I've never really used this Pokemon on my team. I did wanted to use it at some point in time. But this is a, probably the perfect time to actually use this Pokemon since it does have a pretty nice uh, move right here, which is Rain Dance. And of course, Ponyta is a little faster than my Sweet Boom right now. Now, the reason why I nicknamed Sweet Coon Sweet Boom is obviously because I kind of wanted to use them on my team. And I went against it until, like, you know, I realized that, yeah, it's probably not the best idea. And as you can see, boom, critical hit. That does it. Okay. Okay, alrighty. So, who is next? I do not know. Now, with with Rain Dance, it actually enables us to actually use Thunder without miss. So, if, you know, just in case, just in case we miss, we still got a little bit of a, we still got a little bit of Rain Dance. So, here comes a Swift Attack right here from Apom, or Apom. Not so effective. One good thing about Suicune is that, yeah, it does have a... It does have a high HP right there, so look at that. We are starting a downpour. This will actually power up our water type moves. And on top of that, if you have a Pokemon with Thunder, bam. It's gonna never miss. And here comes another swift attack. I still can't believe Apom's a little faster than my Suicune. Since Suicune is like like a mystical Pokemon, shouldn't it have like, you know, not been a little bit faster since nobody can't see it? Here comes a uh, critical hit. From Sweet Boom, that takes care of that. On the first try of Rain Dance, too. And, well, look at that. She's like, hey, wait! Alrighty, so everything's going to plan. I think that's two Pokemon right there. And, well, let's see. She picked the wrong Pokemon. Obviously, this Pokemon right here is a little faster than us. So, hopefully this Rain Dance will actually hold. And here comes a Magnitude. And the Magnitude 5 does the trick, and, well, let's go Hydro Pump for the win. And there we go, guys. That was probably, like, a little bit of a cheap, so that's a my bet on me. I kind of wanted to use Sweet Boom, but, hey, you know, <laughs> wanted to show off the, the, the combination uh, the combination tactics right here. Now, when I was playing Pokemon Crystal, Gold, and Silver, back when I was a kid, the majority of the Pokemon that I used were Water-type Pokemon. I do not know, but in Generation 2, the Water-type Pokemon are pretty good right here. Comment down below if you guys think that. Okay, so we defeated G uh, Trainer number 2 right here, and now it is time for us to take on the big dog herself, Gym Leader Whitney right here. And, hey! Don't you think uh, Pokemon are, like, super cute? Probably, just a little super cute. So, here we go. She has a nice stack team. As you can see, she does have a, uh, well, Mill Tank, which is high on HP, including Clefable, Wigglytuff, Gloom, Dodrio, and Stantler. So, what we're going to do right here is I am probably going to start off with... You know what? Let's start off with Sweet Boom. Go with Fluffle, just in case, and then Hercules. Oh, crud. Let's reselect. I don't know what I just said. Like, okay. So, again, Sweet Boom, Fluffle, and Hercules. Sweet Boom for the combination of, uh, you know, Rain Dance, just in case we faint or anything like that. It also does have Aurora Beam, so it will do it will do some damage if she comes out with a Dodrio right here. And who is the Pokemon she's coming out with? And as, well, that's suspected. She's coming out with her Mill Tank right here. So let's go right ahead and use Rain Dance. Now, none of these Pokemon like to use a lot of special attacks right here, except for, well, this one right here is probably like a physical. the opening game? And that hits us pretty good. Not so much damage. And, well, we're going to go power up our Pokemon, Rain Dance. Okay. It is raining heavily right now. Yes. Okay. So, let's see if we can actually beat this Pokemon. Now, in Generation 2, is Earthquake a, uh, a physical or a special attack? I could be... Yeah. I could use that to its disadvantage or something, I don't know, but we're gonna go with the Hydro Pump right here. And here we go, Hydro Pump, powered up, takes a huge chunk out of Mill Tank. I'm not going to risk it right here because I kind of want to use that mirror, uh, mirror Coat. So we're gonna go with another Hydro Pump. And here comes another Earthquake. And this one will hit us a little harder. 
it's okay. Sweet Boom is doing okay right here. So here we go. Hydro Pump for the win. And there we go. Say goodbye to Mill Tank. Oh yeah. So we got we got rid of its first uh, first threat right there. What? No. She's not happy. Okay. So who's next? And here we have Gloom. And I think I have Aurora Beam. Do I have Aurora Beam? Oh man, I have a bad feeling. Okay, so hold on, hold on. Yes, I do have Aurora Beam, so time to eat it. Let's go, Aurora Beam. And I wonder if this gets a little bit of a power-up with this uh, this whole rain. And look at that. It is super effective. And right now, she is coming out with a Petal Dance. So, Ooh, wow, okay. So we're going to get hit right here. And that is it for Sweet Boom. Oh, damn. Okay, alrighty. So our next Pokemon is going to be Hercules right here because of the obvious. It finally has a Bug-type move to actually beat this Pokemon right here. So here we go, Hercules looking all strong and everything. Let's go right ahead and use Megahorn since it, since it is a Bug-type move right here. Come on, Megahorn for the win. God dang it. Okay, so here comes another Petal Dance. And just like Thrash, it is a... Uh, well, it is a move that is continuous, and yeah, it will confuse the the user. So here we go. Let's try and do it again. Come on, Mega Horn. We have hit, we have yet to hit somebody with that Mega Horn. Come on, and that right there destroys Gloom. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so we're doing something good right here. Okay. And here we go with the next Pokemon. Who's next? And it's Wigglytuff. Now this guy is going to be a little tougher than than expected, but I have a feeling it's going to use a physical attack right here. And balls! It's using a freaking psychic attack, and it is super effective. So now we really got to hit this guy. And yeah, that is not going to work. It's a special attack right there. So okay, so Jeebus. Okay, let's go with the reversal. Yeah, here we go. Reversal attack. Do me some favors right here. And it is super effective. And I don't think... Yeah. Hopefully we survive this one. Because we still have bug type. And that takes care of Hercules. Good gravy. Okay. Okay, so... We got, we're down to one Pokemon each. And this is looking like the battle that we want. Okay, Fluffolt, do your thing. Okay, I'm for us shaking that booty, just like Big Booty Balto, even though it doesn't exist right here. So let's go with a Thunder Attack. Come on, Fluff Vault and Crap Baskets on a Crapsicle Stick. We are not fast enough, so we're probably thinking, ah, oh, crap. And it gets hit with Recoil. Here we go, Thunder Attack. And it does it! <laughs> Down to the wire. Say goodbye to Wigglytuff. Oh yeah, and look at that. I'm throwing out that piece on guys. Now, I just want to say a little something right here about this battle. This is all thanks to you guys who were commentating on the on, on the, the comments. Now what she's saying is, what? I can't believe I lost. Look at that, the Goldenrod Battle Gym, okay. Like I said, guys, this is all thanks to you, mainly because a lot of you guys over the years have been commenting on the bottom, saying you have to put attacks that are beneficial to your Pokemon's stats. And the one thing that I kept on doing was going against that, and I just kept on using the best attack for the Pokemon that I'm using. This time around, now that I've changed my channel to Gym Leader Draven and all that crud, I've been actually listening to you guys and, you know, I've been really, really putting attention to what kind of moves I should put on to what are, what are the Pokemon right here. And because of that, I put in Thunder, which is a special attack, to my Amphros, whose special attack is freaking boss. It's awesome. So, that is it right there, guys. Thank you once again for another episode. In the next one, we are going to be taking on Ecrotech City Gym Leader Morty. And uh, it looks like to me we're going to be using our, 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 our Kanto Pokemon. We'll see. Thank you guys again for another episode. I'll see you guys next time.